Beginnings, love or hate them, they're part of life. Rumour has it we think about new beginnings the most in springtime, probably due to cute little lambs frolicking amidst the gorgeous daffodils. The noteworthy point about beginnings is that we either embrace or reject them, depending on how we see them, and either way they're going to change our world view. For survivors like us, beginnings can be scary. We don't know what's coming or how it's going to work, and so it can create or evoke some anxiety. Personally, I love beginnings if there's something I have chosen and am wanting in my life. The welcome mat appears, is rolled out for all to see, and others can witness my new next best thing. On the other hand, if a beginning has been forced on me or not chosen by me, it's not welcome. Circle back to feeling anxious and slightly hypervigilant. This is well known to us as survivors. My new beginning began recently when I started my next book and although that was exciting, it was also a lot of work, partly because it takes a long time to formulate my thinking and get ideas down, let alone begin the process of writing. Even though I wanted to do it and chose it, it still felt really hard to start. And there we have it. Beginnings, even though we choose them or want them, can feel challenging because we can't foresee what's coming once it has begun. Anxiety is huge for us as survivors and beginnings are certainly part of evoking more of that in us. For some of us, we'll take charge and make the change happen regardless or take ownership of the new beginning. But for others among us, we feel slightly less confident and struggle to even take the first step. There is no right or wrong, it's just what makes us different. The question remains though, what do we do when motivation is lacking? When we know we have to do something, but we're struggling with the weight of our anxiety? Well, there are several things. Create a timetable where you slot in managing both the beginning and the anxiety around it. Do some journaling. Try and uncover where this is coming from within you. Chances are it won't be new and it may have been a pattern of behaviour within you. Set aside the exact same time each day to begin, excuse the pun, the beginnings. Have a space designated where you can be alone to think and reflect on this. Once you have begun, spend some allocated time, and by that I mean diary it, so that you can carry on with the journey. Don't work out how to do it. Just do it, and no, that's not a Nike ad. Reward yourself at the end of each day. This could be that Netflix show you wanted to watch, or a walk on the beach, or basically whatever you enjoy as a treat. Know that beginnings are hard, but know equally that some of them work out so much better than what we had thought, and sometimes being kind to ourselves about our thoughts is a great beginning. Do you ever notice how tough you are on yourself when you are engaging in self-talk? Short note, if it feels encouraging and you feel lifted, keep thinking those thoughts. Conversely, if you start to feel down or miserable or less than, kick that thought and those types of thoughts straight out the door. 
I totally get that beginning anything can be challenging, but here's a couple of things that may help. One, accept where you are right now. Right now is the only place we can begin. Two, be kind to yourself. Think about what I just said regarding our self-talk. Three, honour how you cope as you navigate each day. Your only competition is with yourself. Other people have their own challenges and their own beginnings to deal with. You will get through whatever beginning this is. You may even surprise yourself in how much you enjoy it. Remember, you're never alone. There's always a survivor community here. And in the meantime, take care. Be grateful for who you are because you are the gift. Please also like, subscribe and share this channel. Love to everyone.